welcome back to etc and today we have another star wars build tutorial today we have the separatist dreadnought uh requested by tfs inferno uh this is such an epic build it is a very mega build as you can see but uh i got help from the arrow 9530 and Charlington 8000. Uh, they joined us on our Discord and helped us out on this massive project that would have taken me alone probably a week to finish, but it only took a day with their help. So, mega shout out to them. Uh, helped me get this video out much sooner than I expected. And, yeah, if you guys want to be like them, uh, join our Discord, link in the description, uh, where if you need help or want to help out with builds so uh, we can get uh, more videos out faster uh, and basically get them out to you. But before we get into the tutorial, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, helps us grow as a channel. Uh, please leave a like. And uh, leave a comment down below for what Star Wars ships you guys would like to see next. But uh, that concludes the intro, so let us get into the tutorial. So, uh, the materials that you'll need uh, will be... Here, I'm gonna get rid of some of this junk. But uh, a whole lot of gray concrete. Uh, obviously black concrete, andersite walls, uh, some gray concrete, uh, andersite stairs, smooth andersite stairs, a bunch of sea lanterns for the windows along with the yellow glass, uh, blue concrete, blocks of quartz, uh, just andersite randomly, uh, iron bars, few end rods here and there, uh, some blue stained glass, black stained glass, a wee bit of lava, and uh cyan terracotta that's one thing that i forgot to mention cyan terracotta gray concrete and that's about it <laughs> but it, it's it's not too many different materials like say the ghost down there if you haven't seen that go check it out but it is very massive and very mega we're so high up it's uh y level 130 basically and uh, this thing's clipping through the clouds. But it is such a massive and epic project. But let's get into the tutorial, shall we? So for the nose, as I like to think of it, uh, how th it just kind of looks like that. The dreadnought kind of looks like almost like a hawk or something with the eyes and a mouth and a nose. <laughs> It has that, like, bill uh, on it. But basically, you want to go up uh, diagonally like that. Uh, up two, up three, and then up three. And go out about four, up, and then repeated, repeat the same thing. And then afterwards, basically, you're going to go out one block on each side, just like so. And then fill in the rest here, just like so just like that basically and then repeat that until you have the adequate length I believe this whole thing is 150 blocks long maybe longer I am not a hundred percent sure I didn't measure it out but uh, after you got the nose done uh, the main like face area I guess is basically three and then you want to do this diagonal thing where basically you go down Two blocks, two blocks, two blocks diagonal, two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, two blocks wide. And basically you just go diagonal one block. And they get progressively taller as you go up to give it that sloping feel. And then here just fill in the interior with uh, some, I believe that's cyan, yeah. Cyan terracotta and then some blue concrete and quartz for some detail. And you want to do that on the same side. Everything I'm saying, you're basically going to want to mirror on the same side, pretty much, relatively. And then, uh, once you got that, 
uh, once you got that, basically you can extend this outwards, uh, bring it in one block, do this cool trick with the cyan terracotta where you go down and then out, and then basically have this little staircase that's too tall, and then bring this uh, longwise. And then, basically, after this, you're going to want to make this mega long and mega mega long, probably like 100 block long uh, gray concrete strip. That's about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, f wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 blocks wide, I swear I can count, uh, but basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 blocks, and then basically go outwards, so half of it, and then uh, go outwards one block, and then bring that down all the way. Uh, here with the pattern with the blue concrete, as you can see, it's just a circle, 3 blocks, and then 5 blocks, yeah, 5 blocks, 3 blocks, here. And then here you're going to want to do some little interesting swoosh shape, as I like to call it. And basically four blocks, and then diagonal, uh, down two, or down three, uh, punch out the gray, down four. Uh, this will all be flush with the wall, by the way, or hull of the ship, as you can call it. Uh, three blocks, diagonal, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then keep on going diagonal until it's only one block thick, and then two blocks thick, and then go down here. And then after that, basically, uh, two blocks here, and then boom, boom, as you see. And then here you're going to want to uh, get uh, just light gray concrete for now. And then uh, the hull has these jaggedy edges, I guess, where you go down, and then flat, and then down a few blocks uh these are completely random by the way there's no actual set structure but the main thing is basically you go down a few blocks just like so and then you go upwards where you basically just punch these out and then fill that in with black concrete but uh basically do those jaggeds all the way around and then, uh, to get to the low decks, uh, just mirror everything I'm saying on this side, on the other side. And then, uh, the bottom decks, basically, uh, follow the same pattern here of the above decks, but only one block pushed in with all the black concrete, and go all the way down, and then, yeah, uh, do that on the same side. Uh, after that, uh, details will come at the end, but, uh, after that, punch in, uh, the holes with, uh, <laughs> just, uh, punch out holes, and then behind them have, uh, sea lanterns, and then, uh, cover it up with yellow stained glass as the below decks windows, I guess, and, uh, there's no pattern to this, it's completely random, and the randomness makes it look much better if you say did it in a methodical order which just kind of looks odd you're gonna want to do that on the same side and here with all your black concrete for any of the times it goes upwards like this uh you're gonna want to fill it in so there's not just a gap in the hole that would look really weird but uh after that we can move on to the roof and or would you call it a roof it's a it's a battleship so would you call it a roof what would you call this tell me uh but basically you're going to want to make this three wide and then uh every so often punch in a block of quartz at the very end to give it some uh variation i guess uh three wide all the way down and then andersite wall so it lines it give it some detail and then some blue concrete uh directly down the middle well, actually, first, before you do andersite or blue concrete, you're going to want to fill in the rest of it one block down with your cyan, not cyan, gray concrete. Bring it all the way down to the very end where it stops. Afterwards, um, 
basically get your andersite sla slabs and then basically make this uh one two three four five six uh, say 20 blocks long and then maybe 10 blocks wide. And then uh, that's going to be where this secondary bridge goes, as you can tell. This is not to scale. Like, you couldn't even fit yourself a uh, normal Minecraft player or entity in there. Uh, except, like, maybe a silverfish. But, <coughs> nonetheless, sorry, uh, nonetheless, um put a uh, massive interior in there but uh here you're gonna want to get your light gray concrete uh basically make two wide and then on the every other block i guess uh you're gonna want to have your andersite walls afterwards get your gray concrete and then three blocks up one up one up one make it flat out and then basically do this cool design with the um, andersite slabs, or not andersite, smooth stone. These are stairs actually. And then andersite slabs here, smooth, or er, smooth andersite, not smooth stone, smooth andersite. And then keep on going up, and then smooth andersite, and then do this little cool thing with the andersite here, and then. Smooth andersite and normal andersite. I keep on saying, I just keep on calling it andersite. I mean, I'm not wrong, but it's kind of confusing. And then just some andersite slabs here. And then along with the gray concrete lining it. And then this like little antennae with the andersite wall. And then the iron bars. Here you're going to want to get your cyan. Uh, make this one, two, three, diagonal one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Same thing on this side. And then make this coolio shape with uh, the yellow stained glass. And then put in the sea lanterns. Kind of like the cockpits of a lot of my other ships. Actually, no. Uh, well, uh, very similar to, say, the Mandalorian ship. Or the mm, maybe the Jedi fighter. Somewhat similar. Very similar to the Sheath of Pete, but on a much smaller scale. With the yellow stained glass and then the... Sea lanterns. After that, uh, basically, um, I'm gonna save the detail um, here now. But um, you got your blue concrete, and then now uh, every ten blocks, you're gonna want to make a three wide cyan uh, terracotta strip that basically goes every five blocks. Yeah, cyan terracotta three wide strip, and then keep on doing that along the length of this mega hole, I guess. That's what it's called. It's the hull. It's the hull of the ship. But basically, you're going to want to continuously do that all the way down until it hits. Here, there's like a little power thing. I, I'm not fully sure what it is. But um, get your cyan uh, terracotta. Make this one, and then boom, 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 and then have it protrude out one block and then basically mirror that with the quartz blocks and then the uh, cyan terracotta on the other side. And then these really cool turrets, uh, shout out to uh, Charlington, he, he was the one who came up with this design. I love it so much. They're really cool. The turrets are what make this look relatively like a dreadnought. It makes it look less like a flying cruise ship and more like a uh, battleship. So uh, these turrets are basically you punch in uh, the hull and then black concrete on the back here. Get your iron bars, iron bars, uh, five blocks long, and then put the um, iron trap doors on top and on bottom, and then some andersite slabs on either side. And then the end rods coming out the side here. I know there's a little bit of gap, but it, it's not that noticeable if, like, you're looking at it from a different angle. As long as you're not looking at it like this and you're right here, it, it's not very noticeable. But you're going to want to space these turrets out 15 blocks uh, apart from each other. So it's like an adequate distance so they don't look really whack. Same thing on the other side. 
And then uh, one other thing on the roof here is that uh, these iron, or iron, andersite walls basically make this little antennae thing uh, twice, quite a few blocks apart, maybe like 20 blocks apart. And then, yeah, those are the antennae. Now for the bottom, the bottom hole. We kind of messed this up a little bit, as in we, I mean I, <laughs> uh, fixed it up back there, but in the front, it's, it's a few blocks off. But basically, what you're going to want to do uh, is, from the inside, it's probably much easier. But, pop those back in, is that, uh, see, it's, it's a little bit off. But right here, you're going to want to, actually, maybe it's not easier from the inside. At least it's not easier to show. But uh, you're going to want to start and then one block inwards from the, uh, or actually one block outwards from the uh, black concrete, you're going to want to do the exact same pattern, but outwards. So as I like to think of it, you just fill them in like that. Basically every gap, I guess, is where you're going to want to put the light gray concrete and then make sure it's protruding out one block so it looks good it looks like a separate part from the black concrete <laughs> it looks good that sounds mean but uh basically do that and then sink it down one block each time so basically it still goes along you follow the same shape of the um light gray concrete and then uh basically go down so you're gonna want to fill it in come here and then uh not fill it in completely but everywhere there's a gap just drop it down one and then do the same thing uh, about four times, I believe. Yeah, four times. And then once you get to about here, you're just going to want to flatten it out and then make it just flat for the rest of the way of the length of the ship. Or I should say cruiser. This is a cruiser, right? I, I believe it's a cruiser class. Heavy cruiser. Uh, but here, this is like a little sensor. I believe they're sensors on the bottom and I really don't know how to do this it, it looks the ship looks fine without it but <laughs> just saying it, it looks perfectly normal but it does look better with it and I'm not really sure how to do it Charlington did this along with the arrow and uh, I, I don't I, I don't really know how to how to explain it because I didn't do it uh, you guys can figure it out yourselves how about that? Alright, now to get to the back part here, uh, the large hangar area, if I'm not mistaken, this is where the hangar is, where all the vulture droids come flying out. Uh, I might do an interior for this, maybe. If we get to, um, let's say 40 likes, because uh, there was, uh, I asked for 20 likes on the temple, you guys uh, got 40 combined. So if we get 40 likes on this video, I'll do an interior for the Dreadnought along with the hangar. I think it's going to be pretty cool. But if you guys want to see it, please leave a like. But here for the hangar area, uh, you're going, going to want to go out two blocks with your light gray concrete from the uh, side of the hull here. Uh, make sure it's like two blocks inwards. And then two blocks and then diagonal, two blocks and then diagonal. Uh, with that... Uh, here, uh, you can see, or, you know what, uh, let's start here. Uh, you're gonna wanna go diagonal upwards, and then just lengthen it out, and then repeat that multiple times, about four times, five times actually, until you get to about here, and then, well, about here, I kind of messed it up a wee bit, uh, but until you get to about there, and... Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, do that continuous pattern where you go up diagonally two blocks all the way down and then uh, just flatten it out and then repeat that four times with a flat two block here, down, down. And then here basically you just want to bring it down all the way until you get to one block and then just bring it uh, to the side here. Uh, afterwards, uh, 
put in the detail with the five wide cyan, uh, two block gap, uh, block gap, uh, and then the four wide, um, blue concrete, where it comes down, and then a little bit blue concrete, two, two, blue concrete. Uh, gonna want to do that exactly the same on the other side. After this, uh, basically make this shape, I guess, with your light gray concrete. Uh, here, this oval shape, uh, one block diagonal, and then all the way down, mirror it on the same side, all the way down for the majority of the length of this hanger area. And then, uh, right here, one block inwards, you're gonna want to put your sea lanterns all the way down until it reaches the end. And then basically, uh, with all the sea lanterns in, just fill it in with light blue stained glass to give it that, uh, hollow feel, not hollow, uh, futuristic airlock feel. Cause it's the airlock. Cause if there wasn't this, then like, you know, it, it, all the shifts would kind of go zoom. Alright, but, uh, now onto the engines, uh, probably my favorite part of the whole ship. Actually, no, not onto the engines yet. We still gotta do the top of this thing, where, uh, basically you go up diagonally one block, fill in the top, uh, bring this down a few blocks, and then basically put some and smooth andersite stairs all the way around with three blocks on all sides. And then uh, fill in the middle with uh, gray concrete. And then here with the bridge, uh, put the andersite walls, andersite walls. And then basically you're going to want to build the bridge mega tall so it, it, it doesn't look skinny and tiny for the ship. So here uh, basically one block uh, diagonals and then until you get to here. Five blocks up, five blocks up, five blocks up, five blocks up, and continuously do that about ten times, maybe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, that's a lot less than ten. And then you're going to want to make this coffin shape for the bridge. Basically go around, and then diagonal one, diagonal one, diagonal, around, diagonal, diagonal. And then put sea lanterns in the middle, uh in one block uh your yellow stained glass and the same thing on the top here without the whoa without the top stripe and then put this little antennae thing now we can get onto the engines and then uh court stairs around it oh and basically you're gonna want to do the same thing inversely to the back so and gray concrete stripes I hope that made sense. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit lost myself. But now it's time for the engines. Probably my favorite part of the whole ship. You're just going to want to fill in the back two blocks inwards. Um, and yeah, uh, fill it in with gray concrete. Uh, the arrow uh, built uh, the engines. I love them so much. They're really amazing. They're super cool. Uh, but basically fill them in. And then this is a four by four by four diagonal, uh, four by four by four circle. And then uh, it goes out about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight blocks. And then same thing here, but uh, smaller, actually one. Yeah, smaller, just so it's inside fits. It almost looks like it fits inside the, uh, the uh, original part here. And then, basically, same thing here. And then, my new favorite trick in the book for building any type of engines or anything that looks like it gives off heat behind glass, uh, the arrow, uh, he showed me this trick. And it is putting lava behind it and then the glass instead of sea lanterns like I've used on all my other builds. Uh, but it, it looks really cool. I've never thought about using lava and it looks, it looks super cool for like red engines. Like, 
I think definitely if you're going to do blue engines, keep with the sea lanterns. But if you're going to do red or yellow or orange engines, definitely use the lava because it just looks amazing. It gives that engine-y feel. It looks really cool. But for uh, the secondary engine, or well, the two primary engines are just mirrored with about a few blocks apart. Like maybe eight blocks apart. Whatever seems right. Uh, and then here basically do the exact same thing, but one block smaller. This is a three block circle and then same thing here with a uh, smaller engine and then same thing here. Afterwards, the bottom of the ship, uh, basically you're just going to want to extend this further. Just, just the bottom is just extended further. And then this, uh, the bottom, uh, fin, I guess. Or it might even be a bridge. I'm, I'm not sh completely sure what it is. But basically go one down diagonals. Uh, thicken them up. Make them like three blocks, two blocks wide. And then basically do the exact same shape that it is for the cockpit. But much smaller. So it looks good, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Oh, you know what? I didn't go over the eyes, the most important part, but it's pretty simple. Basically go one block, diagonal two, 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 up to here, and then diagonal backwards, and then uh, fill it in with quartz on both sides. But thank you very much for watching. Please consider sub subscribing. It helps the channel grow immensely. Uh, it means a lot to us. But uh, if you guys want to help out with builds, uh, especially mega builds like the Dreadnought, or uh, you need help with builds, because I know my tutorials aren't the best. Shock and awe. But uh, if you guys need help with the builds, uh, feel free to join our Discord link in the description. Uh, you can help out, like, the Arrow and uh, Charlington. But thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and uh, leave a request for what... Um, Star Wars ships you guys would like to see next in the comments, but this is only my third time saying it. Thank you very much for watching.